hello friends my name is Vijay Kumar and today again in, in my video series I'm uh, today this video is uh, for uh, how we can administrate the open LDAP server through a web-based interface so before beginning I always uh, already installed my open LDAP instance my open LDAP instance is running so I'm just testing whether 389 uh, which is the port is already running or not so net restart is the command through which I can check my uh, TC port oops sorry no yeah you can see uh, 389 so port is there so my um, open up uh, server is already installed and running but I have not configured any uh, any tree instance there so <coughs> For this, uh, going ahead, uh, I will use this uh, LDAP account manager is uh, the software through which you can manage uh, your open LDAP server and its entries like user, uh, you can create users, you can uh, uh, even upload bulk users uh, through a CSV file and there are other several features you can see here account management. You can manage Unix user cloud, uh, sorry, these uh, profile for account creation, CSV file upload, and many things. And this is the user self service, and other. these are the features which is available only for a LAMP professional edition, which is paid version. So I'll be used for uh, use a um, open source version, which is available there. I already downloaded this uh, LAMP. You can see here. LDAP account manager 4.2 version I'm using. So, what are the prerequisites uh, for uh, this web administration? LDAP account manager, I'm going to install, yum install, HTTPD, Apache, PHP LDAP, the PHP and PHP. So PHP LDAP is the, uh, the PHP module which is uh, required for connect connection with PHP to open it. Let me take it on full screen. Okay. So it has installed. Now I will uh, make it to start during the service HTTP D uh, during system startup. And the same is for slab D, which is the open LDAP instance on my RHEL machine. Service is lab D status. It is already running as I told you that I already configured my open LDAP uh, system. So let me start HTTPD also. Starting, you can see here some messages uh, fully qualified domain because I am not using any DNS. So let me first make an entry in etc host so that these messages can be avoided. Removing this line. And because I'm not using IP version 6, so deleting this line and I'm just going to wait my IP at this 192.168.1.2.22 and this host name is rhel.mydomain mydomain.com All right, so it's done now. Save it and exit. Service HTTP restart. My service is running. Now, what I have to do is I'll copy this uh, archive, LDAP account manager archive to my web folder, root doc, web root document folder, folder. So, let me first untar it and uh, cp. This is the folder. So, I will let's check if other folders are there. So let me cp minus r and the folder and the, the root folder, you know, wire ww html is the root folder. So I renamed it in ldep name directory. You can see here all the files are available. Go inside uh, this ldep directory. And uh, you can see here, I need to uh, provide 
read write execute permission for all users for uh, tmp directory 777 and uh, ses directory all right now go to config and here you can see two files are there config.cfg sample and lamb.com sample so i will cp lamb.com sample to lamb.com and the same is for config.cfg file all right now you can see here the ownership is for root user so because i'm going to use apache so i must give the ownership for uh, this whole directory to apache ldep now let me check again whether the ownership has changed or not LLLDAP. you can see here it has fixed and uh, okay everything is okay now i'll open my mozilla uh, firefox web browser and the url will be localhost slash lamb you can see because i renamed that so this is the login screen you can give your password first of all i'll do some configuration the master password is uh, lamb by default you can find it on ldb password okay edit server profile password is lamb and now what i will do I will give my uh, server address which is localhost 389 because this is the current machine and the tree suffix I will configure here dc is equal to my domain dc is equal to com and the LDAP search limit for the user master 5000 I am giving here language you can select your own in my case it is English uh, this is lamb daemon setting uh, these are tools some available fixed list this is the security setting the default uh, login user there is a second tab so in is group net group i'm not going to use this feature oh sorry mistake and i just added some domain i told you uh, there are uh, you know several modules available in ldap account manager you can manage uh, more than uh, other services like samba domains you can see here so i just removed it and uh, i'll use only uh, this open elder for POSIX account so let me make some changes OU is equal to people my domain i'll give to my instance this is the list of attribute this is uh, the list when you will see the users uh, will be in this order go to module and samba 3 i'm not using so i'll remove it samba 3 for both users and uh, groups uh, going to going again and module settings with the all the settings are okay right now and uh, yes the settings are okay you can see here the modules yes the modules are as well okay and module settings may uh, these are the options i don't require during uh, to show during listing of user or creation of users because all if i'll not uncheck these all fields during user creation these all field i have to fill there all right so this is our department initial and here the minimum uid you can uh, give here this default cell encryption type password gid the minimum and maximum what it can be now the manager and now i will log in through my open and the password you can see here no because it, my open and the server is clean so i'll create and uh, this uh, user and the group has created now i can group new group and the group name unix user my first group gid number i'll give is 502 description all unix users save it okay so this is uh, you can see here one group has been created and here you can create a new user but let me first introduce some uh, tools features these are the tools available file upload for multiple user profile editor 
you can go to the user and create a new profile for users. I did the existing one. And you can see uh, set here the LDAP suffix, the RDN identifier, the login cell default one. And this home directory is uh, home slash dollar user, which is a variable. And this is the shadow one, shadow um, attribute type, which will be added automatically. So I tick, tick, make a tick there. Now there is server information to show what server uh, directory server open LDAP version I'm using LDAP version is 3 CNH. You can see here my uh, open LDAP server is this lab T 2.4.23 I'm using. And uh, furthermore, the LDAP entry is 16. Current connection is what? The byte sends, etc. And bind, unbind, search, yet modification. How much queries are there? OU editor, PDF editor. This is a very good feature. You can create a user and then you can export a PDF to send this PDF to user to intimate that your user account has been created. These are the features available. You can remove and you can even add a new text field as per your configuration um, for a PDF intimation letter. You can see this is the account creation via file upload. You can create multiple account providing a CSV file. All right. This is a template sample. CSV is also available there, but I cannot open it because the LibreOffice is not installed. Leave it. Okay, so upload, click on a uh, browse and just click on upload and one individual PDF will also be generated if you will tick there. So go to user, now I'm going to create a new user. New user is, let me give me my name, Vijay. Last name is Sarma, office, uh, give it anything. Okay, email address I can type. You can give these details for a user you are going to create. Even you can add a photo also, Unix. So you can see here, username already taken V Sharma. And UID number, you don't need to worry about this. It will automatically create a UID, will automatically assign a UID. Shadow, you can see here, you can see, a, you can set even a password warning expiration, etc. for individually. I'm, I'm going to um, set the account expiration date so that at this date, my account will automatically get locked, inactive. Give me the password. Okay, save. One user has been created, you can see here, V Sharma. This is the user ID. Now you can edit, delete, and export a PDF. I'm going to export a PDF so that you can see what is the PDF is there. Oh, the pop-up blocker. Okay. So this is a user information later kind of thing you can give to a user. Whenever you will create a user, you can print it and get to the user. So this is the login cell, this is the account expiry cell. All the details will be printed here. All right. So now let me configure the authentication through LDAP in my Linux machine or config TUI. Use LDAP. Use LDAP. LDAP is server is okay. DC is equal to my base DN. I must give here my domain dot dc one. Okay, so authentication has been configured. Now I will configure also so that user can, if user can log in, so the home directory, respect to home directory will automatically get created. Auth config enable MK home DIR update. You can see a new daemon or job D, which is MK home DIR daemon will get a start. So switch user to V Sharma. All right, it's working. Create home directory has been created. Uh, CD to home, and you can see here PWD is home feature. Now get and pass WD so that you can see all the other users also. So you can see here V Sharma is the LDAP user. It is speaking from LDAP. All right. So this is uh, this has been completed, and there is a tree view also. 
uh, unlike uh, PHP LDAP admin. So OU is Unix user. It has been created by uh, using this uh, web admin. You can see here the all entries available. So you can change even here uh, from here also. That's a very good user password, etc. So all the entries in there for user one and uh, this is okay. So OU editor, you can edit some OU. There is a schema browser available also. You can see um, what are the object class of label in your schema, what are the attribute types of label in your schema configured for open LDAP server. And one more thing, friends, this open LDAP, <clears throat> you can see here the optional attribute, required attribute, and all attribute types you can see also here. Okay, these are the attribute types, which is a very long listing logout. So, this is the LDAP server address. Thank you for watching. Thank you.